Hey Divas, so in today's video I will be sharing with you guys this video on how I apply my half wig. So if you guys are interested then go ahead and stay tuned. Okay Divas, so first I want to start off by telling you guys the name of the unit. So this is the uh, Style in Brazilian. This unit is by Outre. It's one of their quick weaves. It's inspired by their Batik bundle hair and I have it in the color DR. B30 slash 1 so I'll get close with this so you guys can see the color and everything so that um, you can get all the information that you need now here is how the actual unit looks so it's very very gorgeous I love the way the curl pattern is it's like really really wavy and I've been loving this color and you guys have been too like thank you so much for the nice compliments but you guys have been loving the way this color looks on me but I did want it to I wanted to go a little bit darker but since this color does complement my skin tone I wanted to still include it in there so yeah this is how it looks so I'll go ahead and show you guys the cap construction so here is the first comb so this is the comb that's in the front and then here is initially inside of the wig and then here is the comb that's in the front here is the comb that's in the back and then it also still does have adjustable straps. So I wanted to show you guys the construction of the cap so you guys can get a better understanding. Even though this is not so much of a wig show and tell, I just want to show you guys how I put on half wigs. So yeah, but anyways, I'm going to get right into putting on the half wig. So first off, I'm just going to take out a little bit of my hair. I don't like to take out um, a lot of my hair because one of the reasons why I wear wigs and half wigs and lace wigs and any wig that I wear is because I want it to be a protective style. So um, it's kind of hard to protect your hair when you're having a lot out. So I just like to take a little bit out um, just to make the unit look natural. So I'm just going to go ahead and take some of the hair out. Some of my hair out, excuse me. <laughs> okay, so as far as my hair, the rest of my hair, I have it flat twist down. It looks kind of like ratchet.com because... <laughs> because I've been having this twist, um, this flat twist for about a week now. So that's why it looks like that. But usually I have braids, but whatever you can, just get your hair to lay down flat so that the unit will lay down flat and look more natural. But anywho, so I just like to pull my cap back a little bit because I like to go ahead and adhere the comb onto one of my flat twists right here. It's a personal preference. If you are worried about your edges and everything or wherever you're gonna be placing this comb, then you don't have to do that, but that's just my personal preference. So I'm just going to take this unit and I like to put it over to the side just because of the way I like to style my units but you can put it like straight like this. I just like to slant it to the side. So I'm just going to be placing the combs in. So I'm going to pull the wig down and place the combs into the back of my hair as well. That's done. I just want to go ahead and pull the wig forward a little bit because I don't want it to put too much tension on my hair. But I did just want to do that so that I can just go ahead and style it. So as you can see, you really don't need that much hair out. That's why I just like to take a little bit of my edges out. I know it probably looked like I took more than a little bit out. But that's just because I have like this werewolf hairline. So it's like a lot of hair. So yeah, that's the reason why. So I just kind of like to like smooth my hair a little bit onto the other hair. I will be adding edge control just because this is like a straight unit. So yeah, I will be adding edge control because yeah. This is how the unit looks um, when it's on my head and I haven't added any edge control or anything with a little bit of edges out. So you just need literally like a little bit out and I still feel like it looks natural enough and passable enough. Like it doesn't look like super duper wiggy. I don't, I just really don't feel like you need to take a lot of your edges out because especially if you're like me and the reason why you're wearing wigs is for a protective style, definitely shouldn't take a lot of your hair out and then you definitely don't want to put too much tension on your um, edges. But yeah, this is how it would look like if I was just to leave it without any edge control or anything like that, which in my personal opinion, it does not look bad. But if you're the type of person where you want your hair to be slick like the straight hair, then of course you're going to add edge control. And I just like to add edge control for that more sleek look. Okay, so I've already started applying my edge control. As you guys can see, I'm using the So Real, uh, so Real Edge Silk, and this is their hair, hair gel, but it's basically just um, an edge control, and I'll put it up close so you guys can see the name of it. 
So that's what I'm using to lay down my edges. And I will also be using a toothbrush along with this rough Avon brush. Um, I have to use this one because my hair is very, very stubborn and this toothbrush honestly does not always do the job. And don't worry, this is not the toothbrush that I brush my teeth with. So yeah, just quick disclaimer. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to begin laying my edges down. Um, I try not to put too much edge control because I don't want this to like too much to get on the unit and I also don't want this to look extra greasy like so yeah just going to lay those edges down okay so I don't like the way I mean it looks it looks okay like this Okay, I feel like I need to run my fingers through this hair too because the curls are a little bit too defined, which I don't really mind, but I do want the hair to have some type of volume because I am a lover of big hair, so. I think I'm gonna try like a top knot bun with this hair. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try that because I don't really like the way it's just looking like straight back or something. So I'm gonna try the top knot bun. Okay, so this little hair tie was not working, like not working in my favor, so I'm gonna have to use rubber band. <laughs> okay, so I think I like the way this little top knot bun looks with it better. But comment below and let me know what you guys think, because I think that this is cute. I think it's cuter like this, because I don't know, I just was not feeling like the straight back look. I don't know why not feeling that not even a little bit but I think this is really really cute for this um for this hair I think it's cute but yeah comment below and let me know what you guys think but yeah all that work I just did on this bun I'm actually gonna have to like probably like take this bobby pin out because I do like to like set my hair so I'm just gonna go ahead and put on this little silk scarf I got I got it from the beauty supply store it was like $6.99 it's just one of those like like do rag situations I really really like this because it really like I feel like in my mind it helps me to like lay my edges down so I'm just gonna go ahead and lay my edges down or set them rather and then go and put on my makeup and then I will be back okay diva so this is how the hair looks after I set it so I do just like to go ahead and set it because my hair is very, very stubborn so it definitely requires setting. But if you are on the go and you're in the rush, um, this is a, some really good edge control so you shouldn't need to um, set it. So I mean, it just depends on your hair. Like I just feel like this is, it needs to be set. But this is like a really cool, easy way to do your hair, especially if you're doing protective styling and you just want to switch it up all the time. I feel like this is a good alternative for that. And yeah, I just really, really, like, I'm really, really enjoying this hair, like, already. Like, I I really, really like it. Like, I might wear it, like, a whole two or three weeks. But anyways, divas, I hope that you guys have found this tutorial easy to follow. Um, I hope you guys are not too mad because this was the same thing, almost like a show and tell. But I did just want to go ahead and feature this wig and also just show you guys how I apply my half wig. Since I will be showing you guys some half wigs, I just decided to go ahead and do a video on how I apply them so that I will be able to reference them to you when I get out those future videos. So, yeah. But anyways, Divas, I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial, found it very easy to follow. If you did, then go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Be sure to go ahead and comment. Um, let me know what you guys think about this hair. Let me know if you have this hair. Just talk to me. I would love to communicate with you guys. And be sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you will not miss any videos from me or any uploads, updates, anything like that. But yeah, Divas, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you lovely Divas in my next video. Bye.